Hey guys, what is up? Back to the mirror, and today I'm showing off the tutorial for my door mechanism in my third redstone house or my mini redstone house, whatever you would like to call it. So, quickly to demonstrate, if I just press this button, the, um, the door will actually stay um, open or stay closed, or it just depends on what you want to do, and it won't actually just go back. So, you can use this with a pressure plate or a button or basically anything. So. I'll teach you to build it right now, and um, really quickly, I'd like to give credit to my good buddy uh, Kamushi One because he taught me how to do this, and uh, now I'm going to teach you. And James, if you're watching this, thank you. You are the best person ever. But yeah, anyways, um, I set myself up a little wall right here. There's no redstone or anything. Um, if I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna place a button right here. Or actually, no, I'll just put put a button right here, and uh, I guess I think I'll just have my I'll have my wall right here. And I'll just put a pressure plate here. This is just, um, you, you don't have to use just like a, a button or a pressure plate. This is just for demonstration de demonstration purposes. So the first thing you want to do is put um, two sticky pistons uh, behind where you want the your uh, door to be. So then um, you want to put whatever block you want your door to be uh, right here so it can be anything. But for my instance, it's going to be sandstone. So um, now what you want to do is you want to... Uh, take this redstone and you want to bring it down here oops bring it down here and uh, over um, over to uh, an, this is the mechanism that it, that needs to be powered so what you want to do is you want to put a redstone repeater leading into um, a sticky piston going down so you place a sticky piston going down facing up and basically just put um, a random block here uh, as long as it can be moved by a piston and uh, then uh, it'll just uh, what it, it should just do this just like normal and uh, then after that you want to place a redstone repeater and uh, note these repeaters only need to be at one tick otherwise it will not work so basically it just means leave the repeaters alone don't like play around with them but yeah then you want to um, connect that to another sticky piston which will be connected to a redstone block so what this will look like is um uh, as you as you know a sticky piston should our sticky pistons hold on to the block that are that um they push but um uh but so um the the redstone block should just stay onto it right well as you see it doesn't stay on so basically what's happening is um this uh it's um basically um, the timing is uh, so fast that and this um sticky piston is basically being pushed out and as soon as it get as soon as it get as soon as it gets pushed out it immediately comes back in and it doesn't grab the redstone block and um it basically just stays out there and you can see i, I bet you guys can see where this is going so Basically, what you want to do is you want to just um, um get a redstone line and uh, you want to uh, let me see what I did over there. Sorry, I just want to. I'm I'm so I'm so awful. Then you want to basically just bring it up and uh, you want to uh, I, I wait yeah yeah all right there we go. So what you want to do is you want to just uh, bring this over and um this will power the first uh this will power the first uh um piston and um maybe you can just then you can get another redstone line and that this will uh go up into the second one and this will power the second one so this should actually be the finished mechanism so if you just press the button oh oops sorry <laughs> i made it one too far out so there we go um and basically what this is doing is um when this uh, redstone block gets pushed here it's powering this butt stuff but since it's not going back it, the door will stay open but if you press this it'll actually um get the redstone block back but because of weird timing stuff with minecraft but yeah that's actually um how it works so if you just press this button it'll just toggle it on and off so now if you want to um now basically if you want to get any other um uh um button to uh power it open you just want to basically just bring that line down and um make it connect to the line that powers this mechanism right there so if you just uh let me just find it oh ah no i broke a block that was bad i'm so i screwed it up i, I ruined it okay uh where is it oh there it is it's right there so then uh what you want to do is you want to just bring it over and um it should power that and uh so now if you pre let's go on this pressure plate it should also work so you can just basically how this can work is you can press this button let it go and then you can just step on this pressure plate and it will disappear or if you want um or maybe if you want you can just have two pressure plates and uh but i'm too lazy to set that up because i'm really lazy but yeah that's how basically how it works so if you even found if you found this tutorial helpful make sure to drop a like comment rate subscribe maybe give you some feedback in the comments and if you'd like to see more tutorials on my for my redstone house three 
Uh, there will be a link in the description to my video of my Resident House 3, where the links to the, all the other descriptions will be in that description, I think. I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> sorry, that was kind of confusing. But yeah, if you've enjoyed, make sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye!